You can try to put a ribbon on a sham process, but that doesn't make it any less of a sham. It doesn't make it any less unfair. What you're doing today, in my view, is unfair to the president and is dangerous to the presidency. I, I think the due process rights of this president uh, have been completely ignored, and I think the American people... Is the impeachment process against Trump unfair? Are Republicans right? Can you hear me and see me? I can hear you, but I can't... S oh, now I can see you. 538's Amelia Thompson DeVoe has been reporting on the inquiry and examining what rights presidents have in the impeachment process. From the perspective of what you might be familiar with in the criminal justice system, from like, for example, law and order, um, you might think, wow, it is a little bit shady that Trump hasn't been allowed to, you know, participate in this process so far. But the really important thing to remember is that impeachment is not a legal process. Impeachment is a political process. And under the Constitution, all of those rights that you're used to hearing about, due process, confronting your accuser, those are not rights that apply here. Those are rights that apply to criminal defendants, not people who are going through impeachment. The Constitution actually doesn't say much about impeachment. It lays out that the House has the power to impeach, the Senate has the power to try the case, and the only punishment for impeachment is removal from office. And that's actually a detail that can sort of help understand why the president doesn't have protections outlined in the Constitution. Because at the time that the Constitution was being drafted in England, impeachment could have actually quite serious consequences, including in very extreme circumstances, execution. And so in those cases, you would really want to make sure that you were giving that person a lot of protections. That's the idea behind all of the rights that criminal defendants have. You could be taking away this person's liberty. You could be taking away their life. You want to make sure that this is fair to them in very specific ways. The thing about impeachment is that the worst thing that can happen to Trump is that he doesn't get to be president anymore. The other thing to remember is that in the Nixon and Clinton inquiries, the House had existing criminal investigations into the president to work with, and those investigations were not open to the public. Was Ken Starr's investigation um, conducted in part behind closed doors? It was. He had a grand jury, and grand jury proceedings are always secret. And so that's one reason that the process has been happening largely behind closed doors so far, because they're just trying to gather information and figure out exactly what the evidence might be against President Trump, because they didn't start with very much at all to work with. Right. So it's not just that they're parsing information, they're actually gathering the information as well. Republicans may continue to see this process as unfair, even as it enters a more public phase. But if it is unfair, this Congress's Democrats are not the only ones to blame. The Constitution's framers allowed for this kind of impeachment process, and the last two impeachment inquiries followed a similar rulebook.